Sirens blared through the night sky. In a haze of flashing red lights, I slowly opened my eyes, thoroughly confused about what was going on. I was in a car. The widescreen in front of me shattered to bits, my head throbbing with something awful. I looked beside me, and there he was, knocked unconscious. Or worse, dead. It all came back to me in a flash. The mist steer, the car smashing into the side of the building. I tried to remember what I had tried to avoid, which causes faithful swerve, but my mind drew a blank. Ambulances already arrived at the scene. There were a couple of paramedics prying the passenger side door loose, pulling him out, placing him onto a gurney. I stumbled out of the car, relatively uninjured by the crash, it seemed. Besides my headache, I didn't seem to have any other major injuries. He was rushed to a nearby ambulance in a haze of frantic EMT activity and general medical mumbo-jumbo. I tried to overhear what his situation was, but couldn't make out any words clearly. I realized my ears were ringing, probably part of the headache. In a confused daze, I automatically climbed into the back of the ambulance with him, fighting every throbbing cell in my brain. I attempted to shout a few encouraging words to his unconscious body. The paramedics probably just assumed we were together. Having been in the same vehicle, and didn't seem to object to me tagging along. In fact, they barely seemed to care that I was in for the ride. Reaching the hospital set off another set of frenzied actions. Hospital staff appeared from nowhere at the ambulance door and whisked him away through the swinging metal doors before I had the chance to stumble out onto the sidewalk. Catching up, I saw him being wheeled into the room to the left of the waiting area and rushed in after the group of nurses surrounding his stretcher. Another vague exchange of medical jargon between the ER doctor and his nurses. And from nowhere, an ominous looking device I understood to be a defibrillator emerged. The doctor moved swiftly, and before they had a chance to clear the room of people, namely me, Vaseline the cold metal plates and zapped him. Nothing. He repeated the action three more times before he sputtered to life suddenly. At that moment, all the stress in the world seemed to be lifted from my shoulders. He was alive. All this time, I was more or less sure he would have been, but there was always that little voice talking to me in the back of my mind saying, he's gone. He opened his eyes slowly, amidst hacking and coughing and eventually met my relief drenched gaze. In that moment, my feeling of euphoria vanished. Something about the way he looked at me broke my heart. Why? I didn't know. A single tear escaped his eye and rolled down his cheek. And that's when the doctor turned. And walked right through me.